Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Cody with Blood Money MMA Bets, and I am back with my first official bets video of 2023. This is for Strickland versus Mavov. I have five solid bets on this card, and I think I'm going to hit all five of them. Uh, before I get into that, everybody, please stop, take the time to like, subscribe, and leave a comment. Help the algorithm out for me, trying to make this channel huge by the end of the year. Um, killed it last year, was up over 76 units on the year, and we're going to add to that this year and go huge. Um, super excited. The fights are back. Everybody go check me out on Instagram and Twitter, um, Blood Money MMA Bets. You'll get uh, early bets, early info, or just other stuff that I put out there. Um, also look out, I will have my Patreon out February 1st. I'll have a great Discord, all kinds of stuff. You get my early bets, all of that. I'll have a video out about that. Um, but yeah, man, this is going to be a good year. We're going to add a ton of units on this year, make this show one of the biggest shows on the planet. Um, we're going to be doing a pre-show right after this show on Johnny K Picks channel. It's going to be a great show. It's got me, um, Johnny K Picks, Broke Bets, Propaholic, and Sicky Does MMA. So uh, look out for that. It's going to be a really, really, really good show. Um, man, let's get into it. Let's get into these uh, bets right now. My first bet of 2023, my bad, my first bet of 2023 is going to be Dan Ige. Um, I got him at minus 125. I really like Dan Ige here, man. Um, I think that he's going to have the wrestling and BJJ to be able to keep this fight standing and do good on the ground if he has to, get sweeps, whatever. And when it's standing, I do believe that he is going to be a league above uh, Damon Jackson. I think that he's going to have more power and his durability is so much better. So uh, yeah, man, give me Dan Ige. Um, I got him at minus 125. I got 3.15 units to win 2.5 units on him. And I, I really, really like that bet. Second bet is the under on the Mateus Rebecca Nick Fiore fight under 1.5 rounds. Both these guys are finishers. Nick Fiore's finished all six of his pro wins. Um, Mate uh, Mateus Rebecca has finished uh, four of his last five wins in the first round. He finishes most of his wins. He is a savage. So um, what I'm expecting in the small cage is either Fiore to be able to land some type of weird um, submission and get lucky because he's going to have to go hard. He's on super short notice. He's going to have to go hard in that first round because I'm sure his cardio won't be there. Or Rebecca um, landing a giant shot and getting the TKO in the first round. And that's what I'm leaning towards in that uh, small cage. Third bet for UFC uh, Vegas 67 is Nasruddin Imavov. I got him at minus 120. I got 3.6 units to win three units on him. And um, I really like him in this spot, man. Sean Strickland's maybe at 70, 75% of what he really is. Um, coming off the couch, he hasn't been training. I've been watching his Instagram. He was out um, riding motorcycles, wrecking motorcycles up, up in the mountains, just doing a bunch of stuff. He's supposed to be snowboarding this weekend. Um, proud of him for taking the fight. It's super awesome, but uh, it's just really not a smart thing to do. They um, I expect Nasser Dina Mavov to uh, start taking over on a on a more tired, gassed out Strickland after two rounds. I think that he can get. I think he gets a decision, but maybe he could finish him with some step in knees or knees to the body, like he does. He has some really good knees to the body. Fourth bet, man, I really love this one. I know it's a high price, minus one ninety. Um, I have three point eight units to win two units on the Jimmy Flick Charles Johnson under two point five rounds, and I love this man. Jimmy Flick, he's finished all of his opponents but one by submission. He's been finished in all five of his losses. He's the definition of killer be killed. Um, he's either going to sub Johnson in the first round or he's going to gas himself out trying, and Johnson will TKO him at the end of the first, early middle of the second. So I really love the two and a half. Um, I do think it probably goes under the one and a half also, but I like to play it a little bit safe, so I took the two and a half. And my fifth. And final bet is Javid Basharat. Fight does not go the distance. Minus 135. I have 3.7 units to win 2.75 units. And um, man, I really like this bet. I really, um, both these guys are finishers. Uh, Mendoza, um, he's a finisher. He can submit, he can get a knockout. You've seen on the contender series, have a 16 second knockout. Um, so he he can definitely finish himself. And Javid Basharat had 13 and 0. He's finished 11 of them wins, all 11 of uh, wins before he got to the UFC. Then he fought two really tough guys in Trevin Jones and um, uh, who is the other guy? Uh, Tony Gravely, which are two very, very tough, experienced, durable guys that know how to survive. So uh, I think that um, it's either Mendoza 
um, hits a hits a big shot early and gets like a club and stuff or something, or I think that Basharat ends him with a body shot um, in that second or third round. So I, I took fight doesn't go. Really like that. Uh, 3.7 units to win 2.75 units. And um, them, are my, uh, them are my five bets for UFC Vegas 67, first fight card of the year. Um, we're going to kill this fight card, start off with a, a ton of units, um, build on them units all year, as we always do. And um, we're going to kill it, man. We are going to kill it. I put too much time and effort into this to not kill it. So good luck today, everybody. First card of the year. I hope everybody hits it big, man. I hope we all do good. Um, catch me here in, you know, about an hour and a half um, on that pre-show on Johnny K Picks channel, man. It's going to be a good time. Uh, we'll talk with you guys in the chat and everything. So I appreciate everybody, all the support last year. We're going to do it even bigger this year. We're going to triple up this channel. We're going to triple up the units. We're going to triple up everything. So, um. See y'all guys, man. Good luck.